Hello Scorpio, welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana, um, or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, as well as Venus. I would also check this out if you have any Scorpio placements in your ninth house as well. Guys, here on the Mandula Awakening, we are currently doing a giveaway. The only thing that we ask to be, uh, we ask of you to be entered into the drawing is to hit the subscribe button. That's it. That's all. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we will then go live and uh, pull three of our lucky subscribers and give these beautiful decks away. We're also going to be answering free personal questions on that live as well. So uh, the overall situation here is the Ace of Swords. So there is a need for some clarity, some truth. There's a need for clear vision. Um, we do have the Three of Swords. Now, I, this is an energetic check-in for Scorpio because you showed up in the Sagittarius reading. So I will give that a link over here somewhere either here or here you might want to check that out as the three of swords showed face for them as well so the situation here is the nine of pentacles so i feel like that what this is what this is saying is even though i feel like scorpio is trying to be trying to get to a place of material security i do feel as if that there is instability here, okay? Um, I, I, I don't necessarily feel like that you are where you would like to be as it pertains to your finances. I do feel like that there could be some, someone could have been very reckless with their money. Someone could be very code. This could also signify codependence. And with this Knight of Wands being here in the challenging position, I do feel like that someone is, is making hasty decisions. Someone is being very impatient and irrational. Um, with this Ten of Swords being here in the past influences, Scorpio, I feel as if... There was definitely a betrayal in the past, right? Let's like let's just let's just call that what it was. There's no way to really something was a dead end. Something was painful. Something just it didn't work out. Um, there was a harsh ending here. Now, what you're not seeing is the world card. I am curious to see with it being merged in between these two cards. I am curious to see what is ending and what's being learned because something is like i really am feeling um like i feel like that what's ending is not by choice honestly i feel like that this clarity is on that the only way to really move forward is to close the cycle out with the hot with the hierophant being here and the advice position there is a need to, uh, I don't know, there's some type of, I'm, I'm feeling count like this is institution here. So I'm done. And, you know, this is commitment. So I feel like that something is being advised, like there's some type of knowledge, clarity that has to be offered to someone. Let's see. Let's just get some clarification. This nine of pentacles. Hmm. So there, there is there is clarity that somebody's stability, like that someone's more, more codependent than they care to admit. Um, I do feel like that there is this energy with this Ace of Swords here. I do feel like that there is like there is a breakthrough. This is a breakthrough. This is all about having a breakthrough on how to achieve this material stability. You know how to achieve success here. What's the Knight of Wands? Why is this in the challenge position? Why is this Knight of Wands in the challenge position? 
the Knight of Pentacles. So someone's recklessness, someone's arrogance slowed this down. Or this person, the challenge here is that someone's impatient and arrogant. And it could be like some this is this is Sagittarius Scorpio energy here and this here is Virgo Leo I do believe but either way this goes I feel like that someone's making risky investments as it pertains to their finances and honey I feel like that is coming to a head this week for it to be in this energy check-in. Let's see, what is this Ten of Swords for how the past is currently influencing this present moment? So something that was done in the past, light is being sh shined on it. And it is, it's ultimately a betrayal. It is. It's it, it's it, it's it's putting the it's putting the seal of something's ended. Oh my god. The Queen of Swords. Uh, is this a divorce? With the Hierophant here. The Queen of Swords. There's. I feel like that someone's past actions. Like I don't know. This is just going to be for a select few Scorpio. But I feel like that someone's past actions. Resulted in a child, possibly with the Libra, and it could be coming out this week. What is this world card? And I feel like that when this comes out, it is going to cause an ending. What is the world card? Ooh, the Eight of Swords. My God. The strength card. Something isn't like I feel like that there's going to be a surrendering and accepting that there's no achievement like there's no success within this situation I, I feel an ending like not only is this ten of swords at the like this is what's anchoring the reading and these are my typical five cards and the ten of swords is at the middle of that so um something is catching up to someone and I feel like that this is going to be the final nail in the coffin, for lack of better terms. What? Why is the Hierophant here for the advice? So there's some type of information, some type of knowledge that you're being called to share. Um, you're also being called to uh, be wise in your responses here. What is the Hierophant? The Five of Swords. Yeah, there's good. There's there's something that's gonna have to be non-traditional here. Like there's something that's gonna be outside of tradition. I'm not gonna do too much clarifying, Scorpio. But if you're still with me, we would appreciate a thumbs up down below. So with this. With this Hierophant and the Five of Swords being here in the advice position, I, I, I do. I feel like that there is going to be some type of compromise here. Like there's going to be, like when I say compromise, I just feel like that this is saying like, it, it's, it's time to accept a situation for what it is and stop trying to 
push against the grain just to win something at all costs. Even if the solution to your issue is something unorthodox, it's worth a try as I feel like that this situation over here is very painful. Let's see. What is this Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Let's see. So we have... in. Uh, Thank you, Spirit. Huh. So we have imagination, memories, and origin. With protest here, idea. Wow. Um, before I dive into that, godly, let me get this. Clarify the empress here, spirit. So we have. Oh my goodness. You know, honestly, I feel like that whoever, who, this Ten of Swords, someone felt like that it would never come out. They felt like this would never come out, but it would look at there as an apology. But the thing about it is, is, um, uh, there is clarity coming like not everyone is in their childbearing years I, I, I understand that but for some Sagittarius is out there I mean I'm sorry some Scorpios out there there is going to be clarity on like there's going to be some type of clarity on unknown as it pertains to an empress or a pregnant person there is clarity coming in about that and um, you know I feel like that there was this I don't know. I just feel like that someone tried to come back together with someone that they knew didn't have what it takes. Like, I don't know. Like, someone was trying to force something to work and it just wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't ever going to work. It was a fantasy to begin with. And I feel like that that fantasy is coming to an end because of some like it, we have blind, awkward, unknown vision problems. So, I mean, somebody could have vision problems here, but I really do feel like that there's just a lot of unknowns as it pertains to someone that's pregnant. And it's like, honestly, in order for this person to learn a lesson, I know this sucks. They had to go through this. What is the Eight of Swords here? Friendship. Ooh. Someone's like. <sighs> what? There's a friendship coming to an end. It is. There's 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 something that that is is going to be surrendered. It's going to be released. Um, and when and when it comes to an end, I feel like you're going to feel like you survived a lot. I feel like you're walking away from this with a lot of experience. Like you, you acquired some training, you know, some development through this process. But I, I, I feel like that you're going to be releasing. There's, 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 there's a few people, not just one, that will be ending here. Show me the world card. Gift, yeah. <clears throat> There's something compatible coming in here as well. But I don't feel like that. It's like until you release your attachment to. 
let me just say this for some Scorpios I don't even like giving messages like this but it's coming through very strong for some Scorpios let's just say that you have someone like let's just say that I'm speaking to a masculine Scorpio you got someone pregnant and a feminine Scorpio your person like there you may not know it but there is someone that could be accusing your person of uh, fathering their child I don't feel like okay so for the masculines I feel like that it could be one of your friends somebody that you are closely connected with okay for the feminines I feel like that either you know the female that is pregnant or who the woman is pregnant by is a friend of your person's. Whatever the scenario is, I do feel like that by this coming to light, I feel like that it uh, enables you to close out a cycle and it's really, this is a promotion. It's not an ending. It is a promotion. But you have to be willing to release some friendships. Absolutely. Let's look at this Hierophant for the advice here. And then I'm going to get on up out of here. Why is the Hierophant here, Spirit? Thank you. So this is harmony acceptance this is about learning your lessons this is about learning the lesson and moving forward yes yeah, self-love self-healing independence yep this is about focusing on your stability Ooh. Show me one more on this high defense for, for that thought that just came through. Ooh. So Scorpio, there is a need to come to an agreement here. There is a need to come to an agreement. <coughs> also, um, I feel like that there is a true, like, whoever this is for you, Scorpio, you had a strong, like this person seemed like your be all, end all, be all situation. And there's a need for, there's a need for accepting that this was a, an obstructed view, like you know what I'm saying like this was not you wasn't seeing everything that you needed to see about this situation at all Scorpio yeah and with the five of swords it's being clarified by the compromise card so there is gonna like there's gonna be some type of agreement here like in order to move forward here um I, I do feel like that there's going to need to be a pure, authentic um, compromise made. Mm -hmm. But why is why why is why is Scorpio being there? the reason? Like this is something that you've been unwilling to do, and this compromise it like. Honestly, with donation here at the bottom, this is the advice position. So I can only read this for, you know, Scorpio. Um, so there, like this compromise, I feel like that you're going to be called with libation here at the bottom of the deck and in pride. I feel like that in this compromise, like in order to really set yourself free from some, whatever it is, you're going to like donate like you know what I'm saying take put yourself be selfless there's a need to be selfless here I feel like that if you're not selfless I feel like you're getting ready to get yourself caught up uh-huh 
So whatever that means for you, uh, Scorpio, let's go on and get some closing messages and come on up out of here. Guys, if you're still with me, we would appreciate a thumbs up down below. All right, Spirit. So, wow, we have three. So we have the law of res uh, reciprocity. Give without expecting anything in return. Absolutely. You're going to be asked to, 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 to give someone something without expecting anything in return. And this is to show the divine that you do know how to put your ego aside. That you're willing to put your ego aside in order to get in alignment with the divine. And then we have the law of emergent evolution. Make a new declaration for your life. And then the law of correlation. Witness the boomerang effect of your beliefs and your actions. All right, Scorpio. I pray that this message provided a oh, law of growth here. Wow, beautiful. Lions could be significant. You may need to look up the spirit animal lion. But it says the law of growth. Be steadfast, steadfast in your faith and stay the course. Alrighty, Scorpio, I pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey. If you found that these messages resonated, we would appreciate a thumbs up down below. It does help spread these messages out to other Scorpions in need. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys. <clears throat>